So, Dutch, what's Tahiti like, anyhow? I have no idea, but I hear it's paradise. <laughs> That's what they said about the West. And look how that turned out. It's men, like Mr. Bronte, like Mr. Cornwall, that ruined the West. Arthur, there you are. Come on. Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. <laughs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though I do. <clears throat> well, love, leaving love aside, I... <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Lenny, Bill. You're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. <clears throat> let's go. You see those two? Stay out of sight.
shoot that lock, Arthur. Good. Now take that damn door in. Look out! Sorry, friend. I, I, no, name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. in the front. Bill, you help. Got him? Oh, come on, Lenny. All right, come on. Let's get out of here. Yep. Oh, hey, big man. We gonna ransom you or what? 
for your pasidi. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing, you mean nothing, you stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> and when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country, you, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. Oh, you don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you going to say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. <laughs> they are good at smelling filth, huh? So <laughs> filth has got to be disposed of. Our friends of Mikadens are going to come and rescue you, you repulsive little maggot. <laughs> 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 Call them now! You call them! Jesus! Part of your philosophy books cover feeding a fellow to a goddamn alligator, Dutch! The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. So, Bronte's dealt with. I heard. I still think it was the wrong move. Maybe. Dutch went pretty crazy on him. Well, I should get back to it. Okay. How's it going, Sadie? What's his new haircut? You look like an accountant. Ah, oh, shut up. Pearson? Morning, Mr. Morgan. Okay, I think that's enough for me. It's a city bank, and then we're off. It's what you wanted. It's what we need, if we can manage it. City banks are hard, but we got a lot of guns. You think we can do it? I hope so. I really do. How's it 
going? Okay, considering. Morning, Arthur. Good. Morning to you. Howdy, fellers. Good morning, Arthur. You all right there? I think so. How are you? You'll be fine. Morning. Morning to you. This went pretty overboard with Bronte back there. No pun intended. I know, but I ain't losing any sleep over that one. Right, but still. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Uh huh. Hello, Miss O'Shea. Good morning, Arthur. Don't know what we're going to do with you. I don't either. Buck up. It's going to be all right. All right then, Arthur. How you doing, Abigail? My, my. I do like this new haircut of yours. Uh, blame Trelawney. Don't follow me, really. Excuse me. Excuse me. You okay, Jack? I'm scared, Uncle Arthur. It'll be okay, kid. All right, well, I should be getting on. Bye-bye. Hello? Molly? You see miles away. I'm fine. Anyway, not my business, I guess. Whatever you say. Mr. Morgan. All right. Good morning. Good morning, Arthur. And how are you? Hey. What's wrong, Mr. Pearson? Nothing. Oh, nothing. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there he 
big bad Morgan. <laughs> Not now, Uncle. I ain't on the mood. Drank cow piss instead of milk again? <laughs> You're milking the wrong bit, son. Milking the wrong bit. <laughs> That's a metaphor, by the way. If you say so. <laughs> or is it a simile? I, I can't remember. I feel like I need some cow piss myself. <laughs> Morning, Arthur. You play a good guard. And you make a pretty good oil man. Yeah. Trelawney and Jose have taught us well. Listen, we're gonna be okay. If you say so, but what about the money? Back at Blackwater. Now is not the time for doubters. I ain't a doubter nor a believer. I ain't nothing. So you keep saying. Next time, Arthur, try faith. Try faith. You don't have to talk to me about faith. I don't? No. Okay, well, let's talk more later. It was good working with you, Mr. Strauss. Yes, well, I suppose it worked out in the end. Yeah, we did good. Can I talk to you a second? Sure. I'm just so worried about Karen, Arthur. Why? You know why. She's gonna kill herself when she hits the liquor. Sure, but... But I guess that's her choice. <sighs> I'll try speaking with her. Thanks, Arthur. I'll try to. But... We both know it won't work. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right. Morning, Ted. You okay? You okay? Hey there. Miss Grimshaw. How are you? Hello. You okay? Hey, Arthur. You want to talk? You okay, Arthur? Sure. You don't look okay. Uh, I'm fine. What you been doing? <laughs> Acting like a fool. How so? Killing and robbing folks I didn't need to. My, you have been busy. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. You're a good man, Arthur. Underneath, I mean. I've lost my mind, Mary Beth. Finally happened. I, I don't feel in control. Just stay calm and do what you do best. It seems I'm best in mayhem. Sure, I'm no better than Micah. Yes, you are. Just do what you gotta do and stop getting into trouble. <clears throat> we'll see. Miss Grimshaw's got you working hard here. She's relentless.
At least someone around here's got a brain in his head. How are you? Hey. Good morning. Good morning, Arthur. Micah. Looking good, Bill. Why don't she sit down instead of flitting about? There he is. Good to see you. Come here, Arthur. What do you want? Always full of sunshine, ain't you? Old Misery Guts Morgan. What do you want, Micah? Hmm. Well, I... I want a friend, Arthur. I want hope. I want tomorrow to mean more than today. I want this whole damn shit show to have some kind of meaning I haven't understood. <laughs> but I ain't holding my breath. Yeah, I wouldn't. So? Instead of that, how about you and me go and redistribute some property? Redistribute? Yep. From the Bowles Overland Stagecoach Company into our pockets. And you'll fight this time? I always fight. No, you always talk. But with coaches, guns are more significant than words. Oh, I'm fine with both, friend. Yeah. Come on, then. <laughs> you think we need an extra gun? Probably a good idea. Bill, come on. What are we doing? Coach, stick up. Well, excellent. I'm in. Micah and Bill? This is a death sentence. There's a good spot where we can hit it as it comes over the river into the swamp north of here. You got an actual plan this time? I got three sticks of dynamite, I got two pistols, I got you and Bill. That count as a plan? Not really. Well, let's go. <laughs> I'm joking. So, who told you about this? Please tell me it wasn't an O'Driscoll this time. Nope, a man on the inside at Bowles Overland. You can keep your funny little station friend in Rhodes. I go right to the source. Why did he tip you off? Charm, Bill. Not something you can learn, I regret to inform you. Very true. You're proof of that. Amusing. Charm. And a little money. Right. Which I recovered the next day when he met with a tragic boating accident. See, I don't like leaving trails, unlike the rest of you. What do you mean by that? We keep leading trouble right to us. Carrying too much dead weight. We need to be leaner so we can move faster, quieter. I prefer a tight crew. Just five or six strong gunmen. Well, nobody's stopping you. There's a whole world out there. Go find the strong men you want and leave. Hey, I like you boys. And with the price on our heads, we are wedded in this chaos, for better or for worse at this point. It would be a coward's move to bail on Dutch now. Not like John did. Heard about him disappearing on you fellers. For a year, wasn't it? Something like that. I don't trust him. I've been talking to Dutch. Feels to me like he's turned, challenging every move Dutch makes. I know you have your doubts about him, too, Morgan. I got no doubts about John. I've known him for 15 years. Well, if we really are gonna escape somewhere like me and Dutch have been talking about, let's cut across here. It'll be quicker. We're gonna need to cut some loose. From what Dutch says, the coffers are looking pretty good again. We could almost leave now if we chopped half the dead wood. We ain't doing that. 
I mean, why the hell do we need a gaggle of girls who won't even fuck you if you put a gun to their head? I'm sure you've tried. Is it too much to ask, considering they get a piece of every damn dollar I bring in? Everyone does their share. I don't see you lifting a finger around camp. Uh, Swanson does his share. Molly, come on. No, uh, that's different. See, it, it, this is what I mean. I've always liked Abigail, though. That's my kind of girl. Sully, but strong. Well, I don't get the sense the feeling is mutual. You just don't understand women, Morgan. Okay, here we are. I'll get the explosives planted. Coach should be coming through any minute now. Try to stay out of sight. We don't want to spook them. Here they come. You gonna shoot the charges, Morgan? About time you did something! Williamson's a half-wit. Hey! I'm joking, Bill. How much we get, cowpoke? Enough. Here. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Maybe I had you wrong, Arthur. Maybe you can win as well as fight. Or maybe you was lucky. Well, we'll see, I guess, how lucky any of us is. Exactly. All right. Better get out of here. Split up, I reckon.
Bill. Hey. Mr. Pearson. Hi there. Hosea. Me. Uncle. Hello. Hello, Tilly. Hi. Hey. Hey. Hi. What is it? Ah. Uh, it's none. Oh. Just go away. I tell you what, little Miss Romance. Was right. About what? Sandini. How so? It ain't romantic. It's evil. <laughs> evil can be very romantic. Shut up. I talked to this couple in town. They told me there's this old rumor about people drinking blood. Human blood in town. <laughs> That's just a silly old wives' tale. What? Blood drinking ain't romantic enough for you? Depends on whose blood. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> You all right? Yeah, that was quite a mess to clean up. In every sense. Well, I should get back to it. Okay, then. Mrs. Adler? Hi. Hey there. Hi there. Hey, Mary Beth. Well, look at that fancy haircut, Mr. Morgan. Who are you trying to impress? Oh, don't you start. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay. forgotten that we came down here to get your son back? I look after my own. Just seems like something's changed. You've changed. Don't forget who you are, John. Hosea. Hey, Arthur. Night, night. Make a fool out of me. Always laughing at me. All the way across the Atlantic, nearly as far as the Pacific. Always laughing at me, lying to me and laughing to me. You okay? All of you turned him against me. You're driving yourself crazy. 
Okay, I'll catch you later then. I thought you'd run off to join the Arthur. Mr. Strauss. Back at them, Mr. Morgan. Good to see. Yeah, I'll live. Where'd your mother have to death? All seems quiet, Charles. I was fine. Hello? Really, I was. I ate spaghetti. What? Oh, it's Italian food. It's... I don't know how to explain. Was it nice? Yeah, really nice. And the people? They were nice, too. Everything was very... well, different. I slept in a bed in a room. Like a cage. No, no, no. More like a palace oh. in a story. How nice for you. Our little prince. <laughs> Boys got used to fine living now, Arthur. Yeah. <laughs> what could be finer than a home in a swamp surrounded by alligators? Very true. Well, little prince, tomorrow we begin reading again. <laughs> hey there. Hello. Hey, Javier. There's room here. You want to sit? What we doing so far south, Arthur? I don't like it. Seems as good a place as any to get chased by the law, Miss Tilly. You ain't so dumb as that, Arthur. I'm a Negro. I know. I'll keep you safe, Miss Tilly. My mama was a slave until she was 15 years old, on, Arthur. People, it's ready. I'll keep you safe, Miss. You have my word. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Sure. I'll go. Okay. Bill? Arthur, stop pretending to look busy and sit down. Yeah, you got that down to a fine art. Always good to see you. Yeah? You all right, Molly? Bored. Oh, look who it is. Hello, Karen. <sighs> look who it is. Oh, Arthur. Big tough. Arthur! <laughs> you want to know something, Arthur? What? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I had something to say. I did. Take it easy, Karen. On the hooch. Why? Because a good sober life will bring me peace and contentment? What a crock of shit this world is. Well, I should get back to it. Sure, Arthur. Hello. There she is.
so happy to assist you in a moment. Can I obey his service? Yeah. Liberty is worth every penny. Take care now.